Hello guys and this is Hexone over here and today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to make your own Euro Truck Simulator 2 skin mod. What you'll need is these um, truck templates which you can get downloaded in the description and this Euro Truck Simulator 2 Studio which is turns any well, texture you want into a mod so you don't have to do loads of fiddling about. So what we're going to do is um, this open this so you can choose which truck you want to do personally I don't really know so I'm just gonna go in here here's one I made earlier as you can see it's for the Scania so I'm actually gonna make one for a that will just make one for a Scania I use this is the last Scania which I used this one so we're gonna open and we're gonna go paint.net you can use um, photoshop if you have it but I personally don't because I cannot afford it don't call me poor because it's like 100 pounds so shut the fuck up but, so it should open up here there we go and this is the side the right side no the left side of the cab this is the right side this is the back these are the this is the wing here this is the bottom part, this is the other bottom part, this is the bottom part of the wing, which is this. This is the top of it, this is the roof, this is where the, oops, but this is where the text will appear if you want to put some text in, so put it upside down in here. This is the back wheel arches I think, and this is just the gut. This is the side skirt, this is the other side skirt, this is the front skirt. It's all just guff really. So first thing you want to do is add a new layer. So layer 2. And make sure you're on layer 2 here and choose your base colour. I'm thinking I'm going to go for a red. This time. Or a kind of a, ugh. An orange. You get your paintbrush or your fill tool. I prefer to use a paintbrush though. Don't know why. Whoops. Didn't even click full. I don't. I just like doing it like this. So the. Tr this is the base colour of the truck. So when you enable the skin, it will be this colour. That's it. There, if you just wanted an odd colour truck which you can get perfect in the game, there you go. But we're just going to hide this layer for now, add a new one, move this one above the orange so it shows up, and this is going to be our layer for the decal. I'm only going to do text, but to do it, well, I might put an image in as well. So, what we're going to do is Nova Logistics, I guess, which is the name of my business in the game. So I'm going to go image, rotate 180 degrees so it's upside down. So I can put the text in here. I'm going to go for a black text. And I'm going to raise it up to 30, I think. 30. So I'm going to put over... It's quite a slow type so don't kill me for it. I'm going to change the font to script. It's about Nova Wrong. Actually, Golf Logistics, if you didn't know that. Part. Like so. image, rotate, and there you have it, it's down here, if I were to enable this again, now you can see it's hovering over, so it's not behind, and now we're going to just hide that again so we can see where we are, so now I've shown you how to put text in, I'm going to quickly show you how to put an image in, so what you're going to want to do is get an image, which you want, which I'll have to get my pictures random there we go I'll insert this 
But this one's way too big. It's in. Downloads. It's my .png file here. There you go. So I'm going to insert this. Which is my channel logo. Ah. There we go. Add layer. Remember to click that. Okay, then. So it's up here. So we're going to click this tool to move it. Oops. <laughs> so we're going to actually make it so it's that picture. Move it to here. And then expand it. So it will look a bit weird. And in fact, I'm probably going to change this layer to like a purplish layer. So I'm going to get this little dip dip tool. That's not even the color I clicked. There. The dark purple. Okay, so that's not working. Okay. Oh, it's because that's selected. I didn't even notice, so we're going to deselect that. Wow, what a fail. Still not working. I don't, oh, wow. There we have it better it's a nice dark purple it's really lucky today for some reason it's probably because I'm recording there you go we'll get that back up and that back up as you can see it looks all right I guess So we'll just sharpen up the edges around here. You know, make it look a bit nicer. Kind of round it off. So the logo's not like just out there. So there we go. And there. That's about right. That's enough for now. Because so, this is only a basic tutorial, we'll be then we can press the tick there. Then you go file and save out. And then hopefully this is recording. We'll call this. First, you have to save it. Two. Save it as a paint.net file. Well, I know. Photoshop file first, that's what I recommend. So and then it saves. Ow my wrist. Then you do save as again. And this time you go on to PNG and save it as that again. And then you go okay. Then flatten. So there you go. So now we minimize this. Minimize this. Then we got this. Get out. So then we go base truck and we chose the Scania R, I believe. Yes, yeah, the Scania Streamline. At least that's what I think it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. So if I go wrong, but skin name, then you can choose. I'm gonna do Nova. Then internal name. Because I'm like, oh, there's no spaces there. I've got. And then you can choose the level you want to unlock at. All the way up to, I don't know, 44, not level 44. 
then you get that down, you get this down as well because this is the price. And set skin is stock. And your truck skin browse for the image. We haven't actually selected the image yet, and we go to desktop pictures. Actually, it's in templates for trucks. Scan you, and here it is open. So that's where we saved it. And the workshop icon and use default, so that's the image you'll be in the game. If you want to have your own one, you can go and browse, I guess, pictures just to show you it works. The desktop pictures as well, for more pictures. Random. I know that. Oh, okay. Then. Yes. <laughs> so it's just that. <laughs> then we'll get a better picture for that. I'll choose this thing. Oh, that's too big as well. Oh no, just that. That's there. Yeah. It's fine. I'll just use default and then that's it so you press export mod wait for it to load and you choose where you want it to export so I recommend you do ex documents Eurotruck simulator mod and then just save it here Nova, Nova. Okay then, ignore what I just did. Fucking thing. God damn Windows 8. God damn you. And there you go. So now let me boot up the game and I'll show you how it did. Okay guys, so we're back again and I uh, recording didn't record properly so I finished what I was going to do but it wasn't recorded so first world problems so I'm going to have to go back in and I'm going to have to show you the mod again I'll show you what the skin looks like I think it looks quite good it's a bit loud outside so I'm going to go inside and I'm just going to quickly show you how to put the skin on but you should already know that it's for those who don't just to show you it works and where you should find it so we're going to press enter to enter the paint shop you're going to hit paint and it should be up here along with my other one which I showed you in a way as you can see with the text text on the side and the picture on the back a new one there's this logo on the back which looks really cool in my eyes. So I'll just get rid of all of this gup, 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 guff out of the way. And we'll show you that the Noble Logistics in black doesn't show up that well in the shadow. So which can show you why it's good to not only save it as the picture but also save it as the PNG, not the PNG, the other folder. So you could see it. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Get a picture of that for the thumbnail. So there you go guys. Thank you for watching this new this tutorial. If you enjoyed, do, do tell me in the in comment section. And see you next time.